everyone welcome today's video is going to be a review and first impression of Galavant perfumes nomad set this is an indie perfumer based out of London um, and this nomad set has samples Berlin Brooklyn Istanbul London Tel Aviv and Tokyo and I also have Brooklyn and the most recently released um, Los Angeles. I have those samples too. So I'm excited to go over these with you guys. Um, I didn't have a lot of familiarity with Galavant. I'd seen them and had never had an opportunity to check them out. So we'll be going through those with you guys and they're definitely different um, from a lot of stuff that I have. So stay tuned to check these out. Hey you guys, welcome, welcome to all my subscribers. Welcome to anyone who is new here today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys are doing great. Subscribe if you like this video or any of my other perfume videos, hit the like button. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna focus on Galavant perfumes based in London. It's an indie brand. The focus of the perfumes is urban exploration and each perfume is named based on a different location. The perfumes are unisex, though some tend to skew more feminine and some, some a little more masculine. And I was sent the Nomad set. As you can see here, as I showed you guys, um, there are six fragrance samples in this particular set. And I was sent two additional Amsterdam and Los Angeles. There is Berlin, London, Brooklyn, Tel Aviv, Istanbul, and Tokyo in the Nomad set. So to start off with, um, I will say that this was an experience for me because I tend to stay with the sweet stuff and the powdery stuff and the floral stuff. And some of this was just out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing because it started to make me appreciate and kind of distinguish different notes that I'm not particularly used to in my perfumes. So we'll start off with my favorite one over here. And I have notes guys, cause I cannot remember, you know, eight perfumes and all the notes and that type of thing. But we're gonna kind of go through these. Since they're eight, I won't linger too long on each one, but just to give you a brief overview. So my absolute favorite in this group was Tel Aviv. And for those of you who are like me, who like the floral, who kind of like some of the sweet stuff, this isn't necessarily sweet, but it's like a slightly sweet floral. It's fresh. This one is definitely skewing feminine in the unisex realm um, of this collection. So it's just really easy to wear. And the notes for Tel Aviv are Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Rose Oil, Freesia. And it's just sweet and airy. It's not too heavy. Um, it has decent longevity. I would give it like a, a few hours, but again, it depends on how much you're putting on. Um, it did really well on the test strip. So I think the longevity is decent with this, but I have read that if you do like Jo Malone's Nectarine and Honey Blossom, that you would like Tel Aviv. It's easy, an easy, like pretty floral. So it wouldn't be too challenging for those of you guys who are trying this for the first time. So, you know, a really nice, easy floral. So this one, I love Tel Aviv. Next is another one I did like London. And this one leans also a little more feminine. It's fresh. This one's actually a little bit aquatic um, floral. And there's actually a little bit of leather in here, which was surprising to me because I tend to shy away from leather notes. There's cucumber, violet, rose oil, orris root, and the base we have leather, sandalwood, patchouli, cedarwood. And I didn't know until I looked back at the notes that there actually was leather in this because it's melded really well. Like it's not hitting you really hard. So those of you who might not be comfortable with leather but do like florals, it would be an interesting experience um, to try this one, which is London, because the leather, it's just really gentle in this one. But now that you know that it's there, you can kind of smell it. So this one was another nice one, London. Next up, we have one that I was not particularly crazy about, um, Istanbul. This one came off to me is really cologne initially. It just smelled like cologne. And I will have to say that this one definitely tends to lean a little more masculine. And you have cardamom, bergamot, Egyptian geranium, sandalwood, amber, 
musk tonka bean in here and i got excited seeing those notes at first because like those notes are right up my alley i love incense musk amber tonka bean but i wasn't getting that with the initial spray or even like the first half hour or so so i kind of just had to put that to the side but i picked istanbul up about it was probably two to three hours later and it was a totally different fragrance at that point like i smelled incense it was a little bit sweet it was a little bit spicy i could smell the vanilla it turned into almost a completely different fragrance than what it was when i had initially sprayed it so this one was interesting and this one i do say is more masculine but the dry down i think those of us into more feminine fragrances might actually enjoy it so that was istanbul Next, we have Los Angeles, and most of these perfumes came out in 2017, one or two, I believe, in 2018, and Los Angeles came out in 2019. And this one I like a lot, though it can definitely, definitely like lean either way in terms of masculine, feminine. You have eucalyptus, clary sage, mandarin orange, you have pineapple tuberose, marine notes, and the bus, the, the base is like musk and guyac wood. And the thing is, is like, I enjoy this, but I definitely see this so easily being worn on a guy. And at the same time, if you have it on a female, you wouldn't bat an eye thinking that she has a male fragrance on because it's just, this one is another one kind of like Tel Aviv. It's just easy and really simple to wear. So it's just like kind of lighthearted and enjoyable. So Los Angeles is really, really nice. I really enjoy this one. So that is one of the other ones. Next up, we have Brooklyn. This is one of my favorite ones. Although there is not powder in this particular one, like even in the dry down, I was smelling powder in this. It's like slightly spicy and there is citrus in this. There's orange, but some of the notes in here, you have iris, incense, cardamom, magnolia, giving, get, giving it just like a little bit of floral. And I think the musk in the dry down is what is giving me like the powdery scents that I'm getting from it. But this one I just like really love because this one kind of start to finish tends to stay the same for me, even though the notes are very varied. I mean, orris root, iris, musk, magnolia, but they meld together really, really well. And this one works for me from start to finish. I really enjoy that one. So this is Brooklyn. All right, we have three more over here. Now I gotta go into one that I just couldn't get with no matter how hard I tried. This is Amsterdam and Amsterdam just really kind of threw me off. Like I've, I sprayed this yesterday to just, to just like really get a sense of it over time. But Amsterdam just is kind of really harsh in the opening. It's almost like when you pull a fresh plant out of from the roots like out of dirt it's like fresh dirt or metallic there's just something that's really harsh that absolutely is just like out of my comfort zone so Amsterdam it's just it's a gender bender in the sense that there are female fragrance reviewers who I absolutely love who love leather and metal and smoke it's not my thing, but I think they might like this because that's their thing. This would not be what I would consider like a universal type of scent where like generally everybody's gonna love it. It's gonna be one where it's like, this is different. Like this is up my alley. I really like this. Or are you gonna be like, keep that thing away from me? And I'm kind of like in the latter group because I know that this is not one that I'm gonna pick up because it's just, it's not even just, it is different, but it's just a little bit harsh for me and and a little too masculine even though i know there are women that would probably enjoy this one so that is amsterdam and moving on to our last two we have berlin it's fresh it's easy this one we have black pepper grapefruit clementine black tea patchouli citrus based you know but it's really easy to wear not complex um not too complex in terms of like how it rests on the skin but i mean i can definitely see a guy putting this on a female putting this on and no one would question like oh you're wearing a female's fragrance or you're wearing a guy's fragrance it's just pretty middle of the road berlin is 
So our last one here is Tokyo. This one also leans a little bit more masculine. You have black pepper in here, yuzu, bergamot, a little bit of incense. You have wasabi, which I thought was interesting, cardamom. And I thought that's what I like about this set, about this collection. Who would think to put, you know, and I'm sure there are others out there, but to put wasabi in a fragrance and kind of have it rolling with that whole Tokyo theme. It's very different. I like the dry down. It was a little bit hard at first with the initial spray, kind of like um, Istanbul was. It kind of turns into something a little bit more different and wearable for me in its dry down. But definitely I can appreciate all of these perfumes because you can tell they're high quality. You don't smell anything synthetic. Um, and I do believe these are vegan. So, I mean, they're just very well done and they may not all work for your type of fragrance, what you might like, but I think you could appreciate, um, you know, the different notes and compositions in these particular perfumes. So I wanna thank Nick Stewart for sending this to me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun going through these perfumes. I love trying new stuff. So enjoy the day or the evening, you guys, whatever it may be for you. Um, check back later for another video and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.